Hello everyone, we will continue the topic SAP scripts and in the previous video, we created the page, we created the windows depends upon the number of sections. Now we have two independent things. We created the page, we created the windows. Now we need to bind the windows onto the page. This is not the case with smart phone. If you remember in case of smart phone, we have the page, one page by default present. You are right clicking on the page and you are creating the windows onto that page. In case of script, we are independently creating a page we are independently creating the windows after that. Now we need to bind the windows onto that particular page. And whenever we want to bind the windows on the page, we will go for page windows. Here we will decide whatever the windows we created out of those windows which window we want to display on the page. You can understand in a way that here we have somewhat more flexibility. Suppose you created 10 windows, but you only want to go for seven windows on the page. So you can just select only those seven windows. There's no need to take the rest of the three windows. So now what I will do, now I'm in page windows. Title bar will play a vital role and you can easily, easily understand. Now I'm inside the page windows. I will decide on this page because whatever the page I created, what is the name of that page? Page one. On the page one, what are the various windows I want? So I will simply, simply go for edit and I will go for create element. Now you can see whatever the windows I created, yes, all those windows are appearing here. I can choose now what are the windows I want to display on the page. And I will go for the windows one by one. I will choose depends upon the layout. First window is your order details title window. We'll see. Order details title window. Now, now we all know every window has four dimensions. That part is in the smart form also. Yes, every window has four dimensions. This is called as your left margin, left margin. This is called as your top margin. This is called as the width, width. And this is called as the height. That part is fully, fully explained in the smart form also. And same thing is here. Whenever we are going for windows, we need to provide what is the left margin, what is the top margin, what is the width, width, width means horizontal and height means vertical. So I will give the four dimensions to the first window. Suppose I will give the left margin as five centimeter. So yes, it will leave a space of five centimeter from the left. Suppose top margin is one centimeter. Now, I will go for window width. I only want to display order details. Very small text is there. So suppose I will go for width of four centimeter and height suppose two is okay. Now I will go for save. Now I will go for second window. I will go for edit, create element. Now, after this order details title, we need to go for input of order number window. Order number input. Yes, I will take this window. 
Now same to same thing. Now upper margin of first window is one centimeter height of two. If you see in case of first window, we gave top margin of one centimeter. Then we gave height of two. So one plus two, three is reserved on the page now. It means second window will start from greater than three. So now suppose the dimension top margin of the second window is suppose four centimeter. Now left margin, suppose I will take one centimeter. Now here I need to print big thing order number and value of order number. So I will take a little bit bigger width. Suppose I will take eight centimeter. Height two centimeter is okay because I only only want to display one single row. I will save. Now, if I will talk about now this uh, four plus two, now six is reserved on the page. So our third window will start from greater than six. So I will go for edit, create element. Now I will go for third window. Our third window is header details title window. This header details title window. Now suppose left margin, I will take one centimeter. Now I will come to top margin. Top margin, four plus two, six is reserved on the page. So top margin of third window is greater than six. Suppose I'm taking seven. I want to display only header details. So I will take suppose the width as four centimeter. Height two centimeter is okay. Now I will go for same. Now seven plus two, nine is reserved on the page. So fourth window will start from greater than nine. I will go for edit, create element. Our fourth window is all about header details. These are the header details. So sorry, header values. Now suppose left margin, I will take same to same one centimeter. Seven plus two, nine is reserved on the page. So top margin of fourth window, I took as 10 centimeter. Now I will take bigger width, bigger width, because in one row, I want to go for four things. Delivery number, value of delivery number, payment mode, value of payment mode. So I will take bigger width. Suppose, I will take the width as suppose, we'll go for suppose 12 centimeter. Height, I will take bigger height also because we want to go for two rows. Suppose height we will take as four centimeter. Now I will go for same. Now 10 plus four, 14 is reserved on the page. So next window, will start from greater than 14. I will go for edit, create element. Now we will go for item details title. Suppose left margin, I will take same to same. Top margin 10 plus 4, 14. Suppose top margin is 15 centimeters. Height 4 centimeter is okay because I only want to print item details. Now I will come on to height. Height 2 centimeter is okay. I will go for save. Now 15 plus 2, 17 is reserved on the page. I will go for create element. Now I will go for these labels, labels. And in the previous video, I fully explained 
we have a separate window for the labels also because there is no concept of table we cannot create a table here we, we cannot create a table with header main area footer yes we need to go for separate separate sections so now i will go for item details label suppose left margin one centimeter is okay 15 plus 2 17 is reserved on the page suppose top margin of next window is 18 centimeter i will go for some bigger width because i want to go for two columns suppose i will take 8 centimeter height 2 centimeter is okay i will go for same now I will go for next window. I will go for edit, create element. And you all know this part, this part we are printing in the main window, main window. Because item details are never, never fixed. So we always, always display in the main window because main window is for continuous output. So I will just choose this main window. Now, left margin, suppose one centimeter is okay. Now, here we will just think now. See, these are the labels. These are the labels. And immediately after that, we want the data. Now, if we will give the space in between, suppose if we will give the space in between, that will look like awkward. So what we will do immediately after that, we want to display the data. So if you see the previous window, 15 plus 2, 17 is reserved on the page. Now, immediately after that, we want the data. So I will not go for a big space of 1 centimeter. Suppose I will take 17, 2 inches. So it will just leave very small space because these two are connected with each other. These are the labels and this is the data. It depends upon you can increase by three, four, whatever is looks, looks good in the layout. Window width. I will go for eight centimeter. Suppose height, I will take, okay. Uh, sorry, uh, based upon this item details label, 18 plus 2, 20 is reserved on the page. So I will keep it as 20 comma. Sorry, it's a mistake because I referred this window. This window is this one. Item details. We need to go for this window. So 18 plus 2, 20 is reserved on the page. So I gave 20 comma 2 of the this particular window this particular data now window height suppose i will go for four centimeter i will save so we designed the various windows onto the page now see in case of smart form also you can right click on the page you can create windows and you gave that dimensions to the window. We gave that dimensions manually, but in smart form also, you can create the windows through form painter. If you remember, you can give the dimensions manually also, and you can go through form painter also. So many people ask, is there any option of the same in SAP script? Yes, same to same option is here also. So how you can check? You can go to settings. You can go to form painter. Form painter is available here also. You can go to form painter. Here you need to select that checkbox. Go for OK. And you can see we are able to see all these windows, all these windows. Suppose if I will increase the width of the window, same will reflect. Now here, here the main thing is 
Now your form painter open. Form painter open. Whenever you want to close the form painter, because this is the maximum people ask, I want to close the form painter. How I will close? You need to again go to settings, form painter, deselect that checkbox. This is the way how we can close the form painter. Now you can see the width of the window is 5,50 centimeter. The previous width was 4 centimeter. I increased the width through form painter. So it is now 5,50. So it is totally your wish. You want to go through form painter or you want to go for the manual process. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we integrated the windows onto the page. To integrate the windows onto the page, we went for the area page windows. We selected the windows where which we selected those windows which is required onto the page. And we gave four dimensions to the window. Left margin, top margin, width and height. You can give the dimensions manually also or you can go through form painter also. If you want to go through form painter, you need to go for settings, form painter. You need to select the checkbox graphical form painter and form painter will open. Whenever you want to close the form painter, you need to again go to settings, form painter. You need to select, deselect the checkbox for graphical form painter. In the next video, we will go for various text inside this particular videos. So that's it in this video. Thank you.